The new DPS formula is the worst possible way that Massive could have calculated DPS in this game. Stick around and I'll explain why it is so damn bad. It's Skill up here with another Division video. This video is for the theory crafters out there. It is not a useful video per se. It's not going to teach you anything. Uh, it's just an indulgence in theory crafting and math. So if that's your thing, cool, stick around. If you're not, if it's not, then you're probably just going to get really bored. I'd probably recommend switching off now. So let's kick it off with a little bit of story time. So back when I first started this channel, like uh, February this year, I had like obviously 10 subscribers or whatever. And uh, one of the first series of videos that I did was really exploring how DPS worked in the division, looking at things like initial bullet stability and uh, zero point return and uh, accuracy and all these sorts of stats that we didn't really have any idea about at the time, but I was able to sort of figure them out and uh, combine them all into a formula. And I eventually figured out that accuracy was used as the substitute for headshot chance in the DPS formula. Uh, and then I put out a video called The DPS is a Lie, which is probably the video that made my channel what it is today. It was kind of the, the video that got me going, so to speak. Uh, still one of my most popular videos and uh, still watched today by many people. I still get quite a few comments on that vid. Uh, I also put together a DPS calculator website based on uh, my calculation of the DPS in game. And I've also maintained a spreadsheet that allows you to calculate DPS to a very finite point and show how, you know, critical hit chance interacts with headshot damage, how they stack on top of each other, how many bullets in your magazine are going to be crit headshots versus non-crit headshots, those sorts of things. So um, I know a little bit about how DPS is calculated in this game. And just as a very brief summary for how DPS is actually calculated, it essentially takes your per bullet damage, it, uh, it takes your critical hit chance and your critical hit damage, it then takes uh, your accuracy and it uses that as a substitute for your headshot chance and it combines that with your headshot damage. Uh, and then it combines all those values to look at, well, how much damage are you dealing, right? And then it combines those values with things like your RPM, like your, your rounds per minute and uh, your magazine size and your reload speed to arrive at a figure for what DPS is. So when I saw that they had revised the DPS calculations, I was really interested in that. And I was like, cool, that sounds really good because I'd actually called for some change on it in the past. I basically said that using accuracy as a substitute for headshot chance is really terrible and really deceptive and really leads to people making some very poor decisions like stacking heaps of accuracy on an SMG, for instance, because it jacks their on-sheet DPS stat, but actually gives them very, very little in-game in terms of in-game performance. Uh, so there was that. And uh, there's also the inclusion of reload in the calculation is really problematic because it hides your burst DPS potential. Now, including reload in a calculation is actually really good because it shows you your sustained DPS, but by not showing you your burst DPS potential without that, you're kind of losing some decision-making power because if if you knew that a certain weapon put out heaps of damage really fast, uh, but reloaded, you know, took a really long time to reload, you might look at that weapon and say, cool, that's a really good weapon for PvP because I can kind of use it, dump the mag, switch to another weapon, and then finish off my target with that weapon, etc, etc. So I'm probably digressing a little bit here. My point is that there's a lot in the mix on that calculation that I thought could be improved, but, uh, but, but, but minor tweaks. I wasn't like, let's throw out the whole thing. I was like, let's just make some changes to this. But Massive really threw out the baby with the bathwater on this one, they significantly revised the calculation that they use for DPS in uh, patch 1.4 PTS. Uh, they have flagged that they are still looking at it and I kind of wanted to just provide some input into that process in the hope that we don't land on where we are right now because the way they're doing it now is truly terrible. So let me break it down for you in a, in a really simple way because there's actually two calculations we're talking about here. The first one pertains to the way that actual DPS is calculated. That is the actual damage that you do that calculation has changed. So how has it changed? Well, before your crit chance and your headshot damage used to interact with each other and they used to multiply against each other, right? So what that meant was that when you got a critical headshot, you did tons of damage, right? Tons and tons of damage. It was a huge spike in your DPS. And when you know, in certain builds and certain play styles, and particularly if you were using a marksman rifle and you stacked a fair amount of crit and headshot on it, you would get these massive damage spikes and critical headshot damage would equate to about 70 or 80% 
of your total damage output, right? So it was a really big deal that the fact that these two calculations multiplied against each other. They have changed your headshot damage calculation, uh, your critical headshot damage calculation, I should say, from being a uh, multiplicative to additive. And the result is that you are going to be doing less damage, but you're going to do be doing more predictable damage, less spiky damage, which is really, really good because it means that enemy time to kill, particularly in PvP, is more easily managed. The problem with critical headshots uh, in the DZ is that if you happen to land a few lucky crit headshots on someone, it's just game over. You know, like it's just it has such a huge impact on that moment to moment encounter that uh, they can be really sort of toxic. You know, that it has a really negative effect on the way that uh, that time to kill then works. So the fact they've made this change, really, really good thing. Hats off to Massive, total tick. I've updated my spreadsheet in that context and I will very soon update my DPS uh, calculator website in that context as well. Um, the rest of the calculation remains unchanged in terms of how you actually deal damage, how you assess how much damage you're dealing. So that's fine. The change that really, really sucks is the change that they have made to the character sheet DPS that you see when you are looking at your character, right? So you, you open up your menu, you see in the top left hand corner your DPS number. Now, the average player is going to look at that and they're really going to lean into that and they're going to think that is how I decide what is good and what is bad in that game because they're not some nerd like me that sat, sat there with a spreadsheet and like reverse engineered this shit, figured it out and been like, yeah, cool, this is how it works, right? These are just, you know, 99% of people are just like general players. They're going to look at that number and they're going to think this should tell me what is good and what is bad and that is a totally reasonable expectation because that is what you would expect from that number. The fact is though, what matters have done when they when they've revised this calculation is they've actually stripped the headshot damage equation out of it completely so before headshot damage was actually calculated by using your accuracy as the chance to get a headshot so if you had like 70 accuracy the game would then assume that you had a 70 percent chance to get a headshot and then it would multiply that value by your headshot damage and then they would feature that in the calculation, right? So obviously that's pretty shitty because just because you have 70 accuracy doesn't mean you have a 70% chance to get a headshot, but it was good that the calculation showed you headshot damage because headshot damage is a really important part of overall damage in this game. It's a huge part of how damage works in the division, right? And to exclude it really, really skews damage results. So for example, M1A or marksman rifles in general are propped up in very large part by the huge amounts of bonus headshot damage that they get, right? So you look at an M1A, you look at its bonus headshot damage, you're, ca you're currently in, ca in uh, patch 1.3, your character sheet calculates that and it says, yeah, cool, this is a really good weapon for you because based upon how much headshot damage you will do, generally speaking, you know, you're going to do really well with this weapon, right? That makes a lot of sense. Now what's happened is that that value has been stripped out entirely. So when you look at the damage that's being output by a marksman rifle, it doesn't include headshot damage at all. So people are gonna look at this and they're gonna think, well, hang on a sec, I'm modding for headshot damage on my marksman rifle, but my damage isn't going up. What's up with that, right? So let's pause and just see what is now in the damage calculation versus what's out of the damage calculation, right? What's in the damage calculation is one, your base weapon damage, and that's actually your per bullet damage, right? Your per bullet damage is the starting point for the damage calculation. Number two is your critical hit chance. Okay, cool. That's in there. Great. Obviously, in relation to that is your critical hit damage that is also included. And the final thing that is included in it is your rounds per minute, right? You just straight up RPM. And the, it sort of combines all these values and then it divides that by 60 to arrive at what it thinks is your, your on-sheet DPS. So what is it removed from the equation, right? It has removed headshot chance, or I should say accuracy, right? Which is, which is a, a, a substitute for headshot chance. It's totally removed your headshot damage and it has totally removed your reload speed and it has totally removed your magazine size, right? So like these four factors are really important parts of being able to assess whether or not a weapon is good for you. And they're just not in the calculation anymore for reasons unknown, right? It looks crazy. So basically, right, if I have a weapon that has a huge amount of bonus headshot damage, the calculation does not care about that. It just tells me it's the same as if it had zero headshot damage at all. Similarly, if I had a weapon that had like a really fast reload time, right? 
Uh, it doesn't care about that. It just ignores reload time completely. So I could have a weapon that has like 30 second reload timer and the game would not care. It would still just tell me that my DPS is like the same as if I had a weapon that had three second reload time, right? And, on, and obviously when we talk about magazine size, that's really critical as well because that determines how many rounds you can fire off before you need to start the reload process, which has a really big impact on your burst DPS. In PVP, you don't wanna have to reload. You wanna get your target down fast. If, if, a, uh, if a gun has a larger magazine, it is a far more potent gun, right? It, it's effectively doing more DPS. So uh, all of those things are completely blocked from it now. And so I'll just give you some examples of how this really, really sucks, right? So the first example I have is of an SMG. I've just pulled some values from the PTS, right? And uh, with, when you just put in all the values, you'll see that I've got, I'm just putting it like a 60% headshot chance. Um, it's got 55% headshot damage, but neither of those values matter because they're completely out of the equation now. Um, it's got 9% crit chance, 94% crit hit damage, 725 RPM, got a really lightning fast reload speed of 25, got a decent sized mag at 27. My actual DPS here, if you include the reload speed, is 59k, right? That's the actual DPS of this weapon. In reality, when I'm using this thing regularly, when I'm reloading it, when I'm using it properly, I'm putting out 59k DPS. My on-sheet DPS says I'm actually dealing 96,000 DPS, right? That's crazy. Now, the other value that I have here is the burst DPS, which is like how much DPS am I putting out over the course of a magazine without having to reload, you know, in terms of damage per second. It's got 125,000 DPS, uh, burst DPS. So what that basically is saying that this weapon is really good to drop damage fast, right? Uh, that's that's just one of its strengths, it's burst damage. Uh, and that's sort of what that burst damage calculation means there. But my point here is that like my on-sheet is telling me this is a 96k dps weapon reality you know if i include my reload speed it's 59k dps and if i ignore my reload speed it's 125k let's talk the m1a it's another example right weapon damage 20,000 per bullet headshot chance 70 percent i've put for this one because we're all trying to hit our headshots when we're using a marksman rifle i've got 178 percent bonus headshot damage guess what Game does not care, completely ignores it. I've got 7% crit chance, I've got 53% critical hit damage, 300 RPM and 3.5 reload speed, 18 in the mag. What do I get? I get uh, on sheet DPS of 100K, right? And that's, that's 108K. My actual DPS with this weapon is closer to 120K, right? In reality, right? Now, if I was to obviously enable the one is none talent, right? Which gives me even more DPS because it gives me more bullets in my magazine before I have to reload, right? If I do that, then my actual DPS goes up to about 138K. If I look at my burst DPS for this weapon, it's 238K burst DPS before I have to reload this thing, right? That is a huge difference between what I'm seeing on sheet and what I'm not. M60 is another fantastic example for an entirely different reason, right? M60, you can see the stats there. I won't go through them all now, but uh, the thing about the M60 is it has a huge magazine of 100 bullets. Guess what? This game does not care, right? What does it say my on-sheet DPS is? 79K. What's the reality? Uh, uh, the actual in-game DPS on this weapon, 85K. And if we're talking burst DPS, it's 125K. Only what I've said is not true because it doesn't include the out-of-cover bonus that I get for this weapon. The reality is this M60 that I've just spoken about is in fact dealing 107K DPS, where the DPS calculation tells me I'm dealing around 80K DPS, right? Same sort of thing goes for a shotgun. Final example I'll take you through. You know, it's got 42K per shot. You know, they hit hard. Uh, it's got 0% chance to crit, 180 RPM, 3.7 second reload speed. My actual DPS with this weapon, since it's just got a 30% nerf, is 65,701, right? 65k. What does the DPS calculation tell me? It tells me I'm doing 128k DPS. It literally has doubled my DPS because of how silly this calculation is, right? So all of this is completely nuts. Um, I just want to warn you guys about this right now as you're going into the PTS and you're looking at your weapons and you're trying to size them up. You're thinking, hey, what's up with this? Why do they all look so funky? What's going wrong with the DPS? This is why. It's because it's no longer looking at your headshot chance. It's no longer looking at your reload speed. It's no longer looking at your mag size, right? how this should work. It should have a single number very similar to the number that it has now in game. That calculation works just fine and dandy. But instead of using accuracy for your headshot chance, what it should actually do is take a historical record of your like actual headshot 
performance per weapon type over the last same month. Like keep a month's worth of data and say, you know, when you used an M1A Marksman rifle, what percentage of your bullets that you fired were headshots? And it should use that number to determine what your actual headshot chance is. And then that should appear there as your, hedge, as your, uh, as your headshot chance, right? That makes sense. That is giving feedback to the player saying, hey, listen, this is how much headshot chance you have, generally speaking. This is how much headshot damage you're likely to do with this weapon, given how much base headshot damage exists on this weapon, right? Things like reload is still important. Things like mag speed, all that stuff is still in there, right? But it just means that we have a more accurate view of what my actual headshot performance is. And if you couldn't do that with that kind of historical data, just set some breakpoints that are realistic, right? You might say on, an, on a marksman rifle, you might set the, the calculation to assume a headshot chance of say 60 or 70%. And same sort of thing with an SMG because you're generally quite up close and using them, like using them quite up close, right? Um, and for a shotgun, you might assume significantly less than that. Maybe you're saying it's like 40%. For an assault rifle, given they're much harder to handle now, maybe you say it's like a 30% chance. I don't know, the, the devs are gonna have the data on this in terms of like, what's the average headshot chance for a weapon in PVE and PVP? Because obviously it's very, very different. You would need to separate out that calculation by some means. But, uh, you know, you could just use something better than just you dropping in accuracy because that does not work. But either way, these factors, they need to make their way back into the calculation. You know, in, in, the, in the original video that I did on this, I said the calculation sucked. It was a lie because accuracy was using, uh, was a substitute for your headshot chance. This is a way bigger lie because it's completely taken headshot damage out. It's completely taken RPM out. Uh, uh, sorry, um, reload speed out, mag size, all that stuff. It's just, it, it cannot happen. It should not happen. So please just be aware of that when you go into the PTS, uh, it's definitely problematic and I wouldn't want you guys to get caught by it. Uh, as I said, this was an exercise in pure theory crafting indulgence. There was nothing useful in this video whatsoever. Uh, other than understanding how DPS is calculated in this game. So if you like that sort of stuff, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't like that stuff, then, you know, I gave you a warning at the beginning. So, you know, but thanks for sticking around anyway. Guys, I've got plenty more videos on patch 1.4. You'll see them on the screen there. They are uh, covering off all sorts of stuff in great detail. If they're not clickable now, then they will be later. Uh, you can also see the uh, description links there below. For now, guys, thanks very much for watching. Take good care and I'll see you in patch 1.4. Bye-bye.